Good morning to all viewers and listeners. This is John Molintas and uh, I am uh, happy to uh, for the uh, interview regarding our plans and programs in the City Council. Since I have seen the need to uh, have more conversation with our people regarding major issues and I started with uh, two privileged speeches already. My first privileged speech was focused on the uh, problems of the Baguio indigenous peoples regarding their ancestral domain, starting it with an apology and starting to find means and ways to uh, do justice to the aboriginal people who, was, who were the original uh, inhabitants. And I pointed out the fact that uh, Baguio City is uh, the ancestral domain of the Ibalois and the Kalanguyas who were here ahead even before the Spaniards came and with the landmark case of uh, Mateo Carino being required to register his lands and uh, having to go to the United States Supreme Court and uh, have a decision that recognized native titles which uh, says that this land had been in the possession of the indigenous peoples for a long time, since time immemorial, and therefore these are to be privately owned by them. And that when the government asked them to have it to be registered, they should not have been required to do a lot of things. So, for example, the case of Carino, he lost in, in the Regional Trial Court or CFI of Baguio and then he lost before the Supreme Court of the Philippines. But the Supreme Court of the United States said that do not expect paper titles from people who do not use paper titles as proof of ownership but by their long possession they have been there even before the Spaniards, they have been hostile to foreigners and therefore their lands are privately owned. But in Baguio City, when the Americans came and they chartered the city of Baguio, they declared that all lands belong to the city. That's why the city is selling it, considering the indigenous peoples to be squatters of their own land. So that is the greatest injustice that happened. Now, uh, in order to rectify that, to do justice, I thought that we should start the conversation by asking the city government to make an official apology and I hope that our mayor will soon heed to that call. He also asked the uh, congressman to do the same in uh, Congress. So, with that, I also look at the city charter. Well, that for me and the fact that it does not recognize ancestral lands, ancestral domains in Baguio City is uh, one of the reasons why the indigenous peoples are having uh, difficulty here in Baguio whereas they used to be the owners of the lands that they have been occupying. The uh, requirement that in all policy making body just like the city council there has to be an IPMR or indigenous peoples mandatory representative which unfortunately for the past three or four elections uh, no one was qualified to sit but this time we look forward to having one because they followed the selection process that they provided and uh, Mr. Edwin Bugnay Hilario was uh, chosen we hope that in one or two months he will be seated as a city councillor and that is one progress so we also had the creation of a working group to discuss the provisions of the revised city charter actually there will be six issues one is the ancestral domain and indigenous peoples the bcda and also technical glitches and we hope that it will be participated in by all stakeholders especially the, the barangays uh, that are being affected uh, and also the academe and also other uh, interest groups. These uh, national and local issues as far as legislation is concerned should be made known to the people and the people, our uh, constituents should be able to have a voice before we act, before we approve, before we endorse. 
and that is the essence of uh, legislation. Laws should be made by the people who is going to be affected. We are empowering them by letting them participate in the, as I said, conversation, a dialogue, a debate without necessarily quarreling about it. But at least uh, if everyone from the young to the old is aware of what's happening, their voices will be heard. And that is the essence of uh, legislation.